All right. We are live. We are live, <laughs> live, live. <laughs> um, so listen, Deval, this makes it 227 two, two, on the Richter seven. scale. We're on the path to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, so listen, folks, you've downloaded episode 227. We are fast approaching Deval. Yeah. The fifth, the fifth year that we've been doing this. So only a couple more months, man. Only a couple of months. We've got to try and when we're leading up to this kind of fifth anniversary, we've got to try and bring in some kind of, you know, get obviously a manual, like without yeah, a doubt, manual has got to be on there. Yeah. You know, Zachor, just the Zachor, we've, got, we've got to get him in, man. We got a, yeah for that month. I think each week we've got to get someone in. I reckon. Yeah, let's you know that. what? We just yeah. do it, and yeah. then we can kind of ask about the last five years, movies, and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And remember, man, Deval. Listen, let, let's remind everyone. We got Creed, John Wick. We've mm. got uh, the Mandalorian Part mm. Three, mm. which is going to be dropping next week. I think is it? Is it next week? Yeah, uh, I think it's beginning of March. So yeah, next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's ne- on uh, Wednesday. March. Oof. Is it? It's the first or the third of March. It's one of those. I want to say the first or the third. The first is Wednesday. The third might be. Well, either way, it's next week, and it's. I can't wait. Exactly, it's next week. Okay. I've been hearing the hype, and um, yeah, we'll we'll kind of we'll be speaking about that. Obviously, you've got your John Wicks, and you've got your other movies, and we're going to be speaking about a, a kind of John Wick esque movie in the trailer oh. section. So, kind of, you know, stick around for that one. But we've got a great show for you. We've got some film reviews, obviously, film news. We've got, we've got kind of new on streaming, all that sort of stuff. But before we do any of that, Deval, take it away. Yeah, so our first and only, actually, shout out this week goes to Vegas Cheers. Mm. Uh, and uh, she actually gave, gave us a shout out on Instagram. Uh, she actually also mentioned the trailer we're going to talk about later called Sisu. Yeah. Sisu. So... Uh... <laughs> I love how it says it. sounds like one of my aunties names. Hello, Auntie Cece. <laughs> Cece. Auntie and Cece, Cece <laughs> was the name of uh, like a Disney, like a dragon from a Disney. I, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's okay. a real popular name, Sisu. It mean, yeah. It's got meaning. Sisu. But if you put add an I to it, it's Sissy. That, 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 that's a bad meditation <laughs> from back in the day, isn't it? That's oh, man. Name. Sissy, do you remember that? Yeah. But that's mainly, you know what? We've picked that up, like people in England. Mm, we've got that okay. from America. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure Sissy is in, Sissy's from America, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Maybe but someone yeah, out there. Maybe. But Vegas Chase, yeah, big shout out to her. Go check out her page. Loves movies. She mentioned that trailer to us, and we're going to talk about that trailer a bit later. Yeah. So, yeah, there's our big shout out for this week. All right, brilliant. Let's get into the movie news development. Yeah. We've got quite a few things that uh, we've got to speak about. So, listen, man. Um, so, here's the thing. There's not, I wouldn't even call this back. It's not backlash, but I think what's going on now is people are slowly, slowly cottoning on to the fact that maybe, just maybe, Marvel are churning out too many kind of, uh, you know, projects and maybe yeah. this kind of out of all the you know if you throw shit at the wall you know some of it's going to stick you know some of it's going to fall back on your face you still got a wall full of shit which people don't realize <laughs> you know <laughs> nobody wants nobody wants to lean on a wall full of shit, shit. You know? exactly and you're going to get some great you're going to get some great shit and you're going to get some not so great shit so listen Deval, tell us about this marvel is pushing back now why Oh my gosh, they're pushing back the Marvels. Uh, this is going to obviously have uh, Captain Marvel, it's going to have Miss Marvel, and it's going to have Photon that we saw in um, uh, Division. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, they're pushing it back. It's meant to come out, was it July or June? Yeah. Uh, and now it's gone back to, yeah, I think there's been some test screenings or you know, there's been basically, there's something that they're not really fully confident with. Uh, mm. Could it be backlash from the current movies that have come out? People are not very happy with that. Are they making changes? I hear they're going to be making some changes with the storyline and how the film how the film's going to pan out. You know, it seems like Marvel are Marvel are a bit scared. They're shaking in their boots. They're being a bit yeah. reactive. They're not the ones in control of the narrative anymore. It's about yeah. the people and what they want. And now Marvel are realizing if they don't, if they don't give the people what they really want, you know, give me what you want, what you really really want. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna, you know, <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, that's what they want. Like, you know, <laughs> people want 
good stuff. If Marvel <laughs> they don't give the good stuff, people aren't going to watch it. They're not going to make no. money. So Marvel have pushed it back to November. So we've got to wait till then until we see the Marvels. For me, I'm not too fast. I, I ain't got much hope with the Marvels. So. I know, I know. Me, me yeah. too. It's not on. It's not up there with the movies that I want to see. But listen, Kevin Feige was just basically being interviewed very recently. He said that they are going to actively work on this whole thing about churning kind of you know Disney Plus content out there and you know all this stuff. So they, I think they are really starting to think about right. Okay, how can we make sure that we don't screw this up? Because yeah. you know they've had they've had a lot of hits. They've had a lot of great shows. Loki, great show. Um, um, uh, what else? One Division. You know, is mm. a great show. It's still decent shows. Yeah. And um, you know they've obviously had some misses. The uh, Miss Marvel. I wasn't really. Mm. I, if I'm being honest, you know, it was an she update Hulk. for me. She Hulk. Hulk. Was, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, yeah. you know, we, you know what, folks? Here's listeners. You know, when Deval goes, when he does that, you know, right? There's, there's just something missing from kind of something when he makes that face and when he goes, ah, like, you know. It's probably worth not worth it. But listen, look, we'll kind of keep you posted on all that sort of stuff and we'll tell you what's happening. But listen, let's go over to the Spider-Verse for a moment. Devaldo, this might be pretty big news, right? So you know how we've had Spider-Man, um, you know, No Way Home, Far From Home, Homecoming. We had all these kind of Tom Holland movies. And in the last one, massive, big kind of magic movie moment, movie magic moment where it had the three Spider-Men in there from, yeah, you know, three different eras. That was really, really great. Now, the rumor has it that Tom Holland Spider-Man may jump into across the Spider-Verse. So, you know how we're going to get the Miles Morales? Yeah. And we're going to get that at the end of this year, part one. Mm, yeah. So... Yeah. They're saying, you know, like how the other Spider-Men jumped into Tom Holland's kind of Spider-Man movie. Mm. They're saying that there could be an interaction between Tom Holland's Spider-Man and Miles Morales' Spider-Man. I can see that happening. This, this would be could happen. Movie. This would be in animation you're talking about. It could be in animation or they could even have, what about if they have like a like a, a, a 30 second thing, like live a live action, action oh. where he goes, because in the trailer, if you see the trailer for Across the Spider-Verse, oh. he does go through all these different universes and yeah. there's lots of different yeah. Spider-Men. Yeah, yeah. That would be really interesting. I mean, that, mean, that means also they, they, they would have to cast a live action Miles Morales, which maybe they already have, but that would be interesting, you know? Yeah, because it then it reminds me of the Doctor Strange part where they go, you know, with uh, America um, Chavez, Chavez. Go different, uh, different universes, and you see different iterations of them, animation, liquid. But yeah, this could be that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it, 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 it kind of makes sense though, doesn't it? It's, it feels yeah. like as if, and it fits in with that whole kind of Spider Verse, you know, Spider Man across the Spider Verse, where there are mm. different. We know there's different versions of them, so uh, it could happen. So keep let's keep our eyes on that one. If it doesn't happen in the one that's being released in December, it could happen in the part two one. We don't know. Now here's the other big news I want to speak about, Devaldo. So we know that the Thunderbolts is coming. That's going to be coming towards the end of next year, I reckon. And we know that um, you know there's casting that's already happened. I think we've already mentioned it on the show that Harrison Ford is now General Ross. Yes, that's right. Yes, yeah. We've already spoken about that. We know that we, we're going to see uh, Black Widow's sister. I've forgotten her name now. Um, uh, uh, Yelena Belova. Below, below that's it. Something. Yeah. Yeah. We know Belova. that she's going to be in there. We know that Echo's is Echo going to be in it, or I can't really, can't really remember. But here's the other thing. Here's the big news. They're saying that Stephen Yun, massive rumor going around, it's been swirling around. Stephen Yun is going to be joining the cast of the Thunderbolts. But check this out, Deval. He, they're saying that he could be playing a character called the Sentry. Now I've been wow. doing a bit of reading. I've been doing a bit of reading up. I've been doing a bit of reading on this. He's like Superman, flipping it. Exactly. Sentry. He's got Superman level powers, but the flip side to him is his alter ego or the villain, kind of the bad side of him is called a character called the Void. Mm. And that could be who we see in the Thunderbolts. I don't know how it's all going to plan out, but Steven Yun joining Marvel, that would be pretty interesting. He's already done um, The Invincibles. Mm. You know, yeah. obviously, you know, obviously, um, you know, The Walking Dead and everything like that. So, you know, he's a big actor. But what would you reckon? What do you make of the Sentry? Because that's a pretty 
powerful character. I did hear whispers of the Sentry being involved in Thunderbolts, and I thought maybe can the Thunderbolts handle such a powerful enemy? Uh, but I guess they need to have they need to have an enemy that's you know bigger and badder than them for them to have to work together and overcome that enemy. Yeah. The Sentry, he's meant to have the power of an exploding sun. Oh. Uh, that's in the that's comics. Cool. Obviously, in the movies, I, I doubt they're going to make that happen. Yeah. But it's meant to have the power of, the, of an exploding sun. I mean, that's crazy power when you think about it. Because Superman, he gets his power from the sun. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm up for that. I think it should be interesting. Stephen Yun's a good actor. Yeah. And uh, we got to see him playing a character like that. So, yeah. Yeah, it will be interesting. Um, obviously, we'll have to wait and see next year. They're doing the whole kind of casting mm. stuff and production's going to get on its way. So we'll keep you posted on that one. Now, the other big news that I have to kind of speak about this, Warner Brothers, check this out on Thursday. Uh, what are we now on? We're on Sunday. So Thursday, just a few days ago. Uh, Warner Bros. Discovery CEO David Zaslav announced on an Erlings call, check this out, that they are making multiple films based on The Lord of the Rings. So, New Line Cinema, do you remember that logo for New Line Cinema? The, 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 the way uh, it would kind of all join in and they were the ones behind the whole original Lord of the Rings stuff. Okay, okay. Oh. They are coming back. Uh, they produced the original trilogy, which were directed by Peter Jackson, but in 2001, 2003, mm -hmm. those movies, folks, grossed almost three billion around the world. And Jackson and his two close uh, producers, they kept in the loop. I don't know if Peter Jackson is going to be directing any of these things, but be prepared because we over the next kind of like two, three years, we're going to get some new Lord of the Rings movies. So this could be kind of, I don't know, because they've got the IP... Mm. Um, I mean, they could do a continuation of what happens after the Lord of the Rings, whatever happened to the Hobbits or, mm. I don't know, you could do anything, man. You can. I, I think this, the TV show has left a bit of a, I haven't even finished it yet. So mate, maybe mate, I haven't even finished it. about it is nonsense because I haven't had a full picture, but it didn't really give me that, that inspiration and didn't give me that motivation to want to finish it, which mm. I guess says it all. Yeah, you know, and I feel like I left a, a sour taste in my mouth when it comes to Lord of the Rings. I'm not really, I'm not really that eager for it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, then you won't be interested in this then because they're going to be bringing out a animation which is called The Lord of the Rings: The War of Rohirrim, an animated film set 183 years before the events of Lord of the Rings, and this is going to be coming out in April 2024. Do you know what? Funny enough, yeah, I think an animation will be really good. Might might work better. Yeah, I think it could work better than live action, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, they spent like two, apparently they, they spent like 200 odd million for the TV show. Yeah. I mean, they've got money, you know, and so we'll see, we'll see what happens with that one. So that one was really interesting. Now, listen, Dara, I'm not sure how you're, what your kind of your, your spidey senses are thinking about this one, but Aquaman 2, what do you reckon? Thumbs down or thumbs up? What do you reckon? Sort of trembling. I've I've heard some funny things about the, the test screenings. <laughs> yes, the test screenings I heard didn't do a good job. So nope, 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 nope. I heard exactly the same thing. And what they're saying is that they've had some test screenings. Um, people have walked out. Now oh you can you never because you can obviously you never guarantee with all this sort of stuff. But why did why was Aquaman two delayed, Deval? This movie was supposed to have come out last year. Yeah, I know they were all delayed, but I mm. thought maybe this one was delayed because of the Amber Heard trial and stuff, and maybe they had to, had to do reshoots, and maybe she wasn't available, or if they've recast, and people say, you know, Khaleesi, you know, uh, uh, what's her name, Natalie Clark? Mm. Emily, Emily Clark. Or... Uh, yeah, Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark, sorry. Uh, that was, She was going to be recast as you know, Princess Mira. So that also could be the reason why it's been delayed. But either way, it sounds like the second the second version isn't going to be as good. And the first version, I think, wasn't great, but it was decent. And it, it yeah. grossed a lot of money for a DC film. I think the highest grossing DC film of all time, I think. So, yeah, yeah I don't know. Interesting. It's, it's really interesting. It, kind of, it almost feels like as if, like, it's just not even, like, okay, like Aquaman, it's been such a long time 
you know, and obviously James Gunn, he's announced these new movies. Does Aquaman play a role in that whole kind of new DC slot? I don't no. know. I think the only one that is really going to link on is The Flash. I think the rest of them just, they've been made and they're going to come gonna out. Drop away. It's going to make a little change for DC, Warner Brothers, but I don't think they're going to really play a massive part in the story going forward of Gods and Monsters, which is the first chapter under James Gunn. So I guess time will tell, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, maybe it's just bridge under the water. <laughs> That's so lame. That was really lame. Uh, all right, okay, let's do new and streaming now. Devout episode six. Episode six of uh, The Last of Us. We're getting, I rec- I'm pretty sure we're getting close, closer and closer to the end of this whole thing. Um, but listen, another great episode. We kind of, this kicks off like about three or four months after the events of episode five, which was really mm. kind of like heartbreaking, really great episode. They've been traveling. It's winter. It's cold. They, they're they in flipping God knows where they are in the world in, in America, but they're getting closer and closer to where the fireflies want to be. And uh, Joel, he, he finally tracks down his brother who's mm. living in this kind of community. They're kind of secluded. And, um, you know, they, they've got electricity, they've got food, they've got housing, you know, self-sufficient, like, it's a, it, like you know, a commune. And at one point, the, the, the lady in there, she was kind of running things. She's like, yeah, we're, we're communists. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah. that, 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 that was kind of like, you know, quite interesting and everything. But yeah, man, uh, great episode. But what did you make? What did you think? Where are we going with this? Is, you know, his brother is Gabriel Luna. Is that, is that Diego Luna's brother or are they... Just similar oh. name. I didn't know. I didn't know. I just. <laughs> You're right. Holy shit! I yeah. Maybe Keep they talking. are. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, for me, it's a good. Good episode. I, I was shocked that he found his brother so quickly because I yeah. thought that might take you know till season two or something. But either way, it was good to see they found each, each other. But then their their motivations are now misaligned. You know, before you know, I guess. Um, Mandalorian, I keep calling him Mandalorian, Joel, uh, <laughs> he was always yeah. looking for his brother, they, they, they were going to go off and do stuff afterwards, but now his brother settled down, you know, yeah. his missus is pregnant, she used to be in, in, in true blood, by the way, and uh, now he's looking to chill out and live life in that community, so uh, yeah, it's just, it's an interesting episode, and also there's a bit of a friction between Joel and Ellie, Yeah, uh, you know, he was like, oh, that's it now, we're done. And they really had a bit of a back and forth and argument about it. And he, he literally like said, OK, you're done. You go your separate ways. And mm-hmm. it was really sad to see. But obviously, they turned that around now. So now they're sticking together. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's just it, it's such a treacherous world. Forget the <sighs> creatures that are out there. I always say the humans are the deadliest species on Earth. They're the worst. And when, when they go out there and they try to go across the, the landscape, it's the humans that pose the risk and the episode ends with Joel nearly dying so we're going to see mm. what happens in the next episode and see how how injured he actually is but yeah, yeah, good episode. yeah. there's really good there's a good bit in there where um, she, Ellie she mentions like there's, there's a little bit of kind of like you know what happened to his daughter and she kind of mentions it a little bit and he's like he just shuts her down he's like no don't like you know it, it's so raw for him that even after all these years like yeah, these 20 yeah. years like he just yeah. can't kind of talk about it and everything like that which i thought was like really really cool um so pedro pascal man he's you know he's doing good stuff so game of thrones uh you know he's in he did wonder woman he's done obviously the mandalorian last of us you know he's doing things man this guy he's, he's quite good yeah very good yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see next week. We'll see next week how the Mandalorian pans are. But yeah, we're gonna hopefully see more of him on our screens. Uh, so if you haven't been watching The Last of Us, folks, go check it out. It's really decent, uh, and it's not like it's not like a typical zombie thing, is it? Because because we are seeing the clickers in there, but we haven't seen much of them over the last couple of episodes. So kind of mm. you know, so the the blood and gore is kind of to the minimum in this, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going to ramp it up a bit. All right, let's do Traders, yeah. Deval. We've already mentioned this one. Now, let's speak about this. This is a World War II era movie called Sisu. And when I saw the trailer, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like John Wick written all over it. And lo and behold, yeah. it's mm. it's by the makers of John Wick. Yeah. Crazy. This feels Crazy. Good. Looks mad. Yeah. I'm going to, I want to watch it. Yeah, so basically the story is, uh, is he a farmer or some sort? He's a he's a gold miner or something. 
yeah, he's an ex-soldier who basically he discovers gold in the, the wilderness of uh, Finland, I believe it is. And uh, he wants to take this gold across somewhere to go and sell it and obviously make his money. Uh, and this is, a, this, this is during a time when either sort of Nazis are, well, Nazis are around. I'm not mm. sure if it's during World War II or just afterwards, but basically yeah. Nazis are around and there's lots of them. So him going across the country to take his gold somewhere, he comes across Nazis. The Nazis see his bag full of gold and they want to take it off him. And he's like, nope, not happening. <laughs> so the Nazis try to, you know, aggressively take it off him. He starts to defend himself. And then we find out this guy is like John <laughs> Wick, the Finnish <laughs> version of John Wick. He is taking them out like crazy. crazy. One man band. He's just... <laughs> He's doing all kinds of shit. Sisu actually is the Finnish word for like resilience, determination, grit. Okay. That's, that's what he encompasses. Like yeah. Sasha, this you know what? This trailer, go check it out. This trailer came out of nowhere. I just stumbled across it and I thought, what's Sisu? Mm. I checked it out and it looks it was like fun. It looks it's, like it's fun. fun. There's one bit in the trailer where he throws a, a, a landmine on someone's oh. head and it blows the head on. There's limbs oh. flying. There's like Trust stabbings me. in the head. Yeah. There's, you name it. It's like everything that you'd expect from a, a John Wick movie, but it's set yeah. in World War II. Like, I think it's you know. more harsh because of the, film, the, film, the body's getting blown up. It seems more harsh than John Wick even. It's crazy. Yeah, it's this mad. Is film that Vegas Chiz mentioned, so big shout out to her. Oh, big shout out. Big, yeah, thanks for yeah. that one. Uh, so go check that one out. That's called Sisu. Uh, if you want to brush up on your finish, go ahead and do that. Now, the other one, uh, The Chemistry of Death. Now, this one looked like a, a slow burner, and it's got one, it's got, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's got the British actor, kind of Luke Treadway. Is it one of the Treadway brothers? Because yeah. they're twins, yeah, aren't yeah, yeah. they? Yeah, oh, you twins. never know which one it is. Yeah. I didn't realise that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this yeah, is this based one, off a novel, I think. It's based off a novel, yeah. This one looks quite stoic, if I can say. Very, mm. like, moody, very sort of eerie. Uh, and he plays a forensic uh, was it a forensic pathologist or someone that looks oh, like right. yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, can find out what happened to them. Oh, it is, yeah. Forensic pathologist. I got it right. Oh, mm, okay. Check it um, out. Yeah, so it's Harry Treadway, actually. So there's more of these Treadway oh, boys. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so this is set in, in the UK. Uh, and there's mad murders happening. When I say mad murders, it's like almost ritualistic. Yeah. It's like it's bodies getting all kinds of situations and tangled yep. up and limbs. He has to try and find out who's doing this and see mm. what happened to these bodies. It looks very like, I don't want to say seven, but it, it kind of looks like it's kind of be, it's, it's, it's trying to be that, but obviously it's not going to be that. But yeah. it's just very, yeah, it's deep. It's deep, man. This this is the sort of film you watch on a cold, dreary <laughs> Sunday morning. Yes. Cold outside. You ain't eating breakfast yet. You're just in bed. You're, nah, just you just, at it. you're in the gym jams it's, and you're like, oh thing. gosh. Oh, yeah, man. I love yeah, them. I love so, them yeah. ones. This is coming out soon. This is coming out real soon so early mm. march if, if not out already actually maybe you can catch us on 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 demand so yeah, yeah. Go, go check it out it's called yeah, yeah. Of death. i know i know what a title what a title now listen to that i know you um you've got uh, an apple uh, plus subscription i wonder how many people yeah. of our listeners do have apples so i had it and then i kind mm. of got rid of it and then whenever this there's kind of like a few things that are worth watching i'll kind of go back onto it but check this out i, I think i will be going back to it for, for this this is a, an upcoming biographical drama film about mm. how Tetris, the game Tetris, mm. came about. Mm. And I'm telling you, Devaldo, the trailer is absolutely wild. It stars Taron Egerton. And remember Taron Egerton from um, The King's the King's Man and yep. uh, Elton John and everything. He's a good British actor, yep. really good. He's really yeah. good in this. Yeah. And they've kind of given it, it's, you know, we, I think when we see a lot of these kind of like, you know, biographical pieces, they they really, and when we definitely, when you see the trailers, they, they, they give a thumping kind of soundtrack to it. They make it look edgy. They make it look fun and all that sort of stuff. And this definitely does that. 
But the story, the premise around this is absolutely crazy. This is the true story of the high stakes legal battle to secure the intellectual property rights to Tetris. Yeah. And it was created by someone in Russia during the Cold War era. So when Russia, America and England, when yeah. all this Cold War stuff was going on, this American guy played by Taron, Taron Agerton, he sees this game or he hears about this game that's kind of like really interesting. He's had a go on it and he's like, this game is going to absolutely sell millions and millions and millions of people. And then at the same time, Nintendo, they're bringing out the Game Boy and they want to sell the Game Boy along with Tetris. And his job is to try and get the rights to this whole thing. It looks mad. It's got a great cast list. Um, Taron Egerton, Toby Jones, like a whole host of kind of like um, Nikita Yemroff. It's got... Um, um, uh, ben Miles, a lot, lot of kind of like, you know, when you see them, you think, oh, yeah, I've seen that guy before. Yeah, but this yeah. is coming out on Apple Plus on the 31st of March. And you know what? I think I might actually just kind of, you know, sign up again for it. Hope that you hold your horses, Dick. I might actually have some uh, passwords for you there. So, uh, 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 looks uh, like uh, this is it. We're getting in the Apple see. thing. All I right, mean, here we go. Yeah, we can sort it out. Don't worry, I'll sort you out. I got exactly. You. All right, well, there you go. That's that's what we do. Um, yeah, so kind of like a historical, like you know, factual, you know, Cold War era spy stuff going on in there. And watch a trailer, and I, I think you're going to like this one. And uh, that's going to be coming out uh, next month. Now, Devout, let's get on to anniversary corner. Twenty years ago, two thousand and three. Oh my gosh, the mm. mother. The mother, yeah. So this oh is the my mother. Gosh, I remember yeah. this. I think. Did you watch it? Do I remember? No, sorry. I was thinking about a, a Jennifer Lawrence movie, and that wasn't twenty years ago. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this, this one's called the mother. This one stars Daniel Craig, actually. Uh, and this is a story of a. Sort of oh, mid- it's when he starts. Yeah, I remember. There's a bit of controversy around this, wasn't it? Or he Isn't was it? like, because he's having sex with an older woman or something. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so he's uh, so 2003. So this is 20 years ago now, mm. and uh, Daniel Craig's character, uh, well, is the, the main thing surrounds Anna Reed, who plays May, and uh, she's in a relationship with uh, this Peter Vaughan, who played Toots, and Peter Vaughan mm. was in uh, in Game of Thrones. He was a member of the Night's Watch. Oh uh, yes, him. Yeah, Aemon. So, Exactly, Aemon Targaryen. Yeah, so Anna Reed and, and, and Aemon Targaryen are in a relationship. <laughs> Aemon Targaryen passed away. He's, he's actually passed away in real life, so RIP to him. Oh. Uh, he passed away, and then the mother is like, sort of, you know, she's destroyed by it. She's lonely. She wants, you know, she just wants company. someone to be with, company, comfort. You know, after some timelessness, you know, she, 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 she feels like she needs to, you know, fill that gap in her life and Daniel Craig is a handyman. He comes across, mm. you know, he's got her her plumbing, her pipes need to be sorted out. He, he sorts out a, he sorts out a leak. More than more than the pipes, mate. So he sorts a leak out and before you know it, he's uh they're in a relationship and there, you know, things are are going and they're they're, they're having fun. Uh, Daniel Craig is like I think twenty years young, younger than her at the time maybe. Yeah. But it goes it goes a bit deeper than that because Daniel Craig is married already. Oh he's married already. And also he's also he's best friends with, he's sleeping with her daughter as well. <laughs> <laughs> so this it, guy, it, man, plumbers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, they probably saw this and thought, Oh, he's perfect for Bond. <laughs> you know? He's perfect for Bond. But this was before Bond, two years before Bond. Three oh my years. god. So, Yes, that's mother. Go check it out if you if you want. You can catch it yeah. on demand. Twenty years ago, Daniel Craig, and uh, see him sleeping around before he was Bond. Before so, he was yeah. Bond, exactly. Yeah. Uh, interesting, interesting. All right, okay. Uh, that's anniversary corner for you folks. And remember, every week we have uh, a new film that we want to kind of speak about, which you know is is kind of one from the from the from the books from before. Uh, all right, let's do film reviews and devout. I've heard so much about this movie. The premise is absolutely mad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw the trailer. You can check the trailer out if you haven't seen the movie, but listen to Deval's review of this. This is called Cocaine Bear. And you know what? I didn't know this. It's directed by Elizabeth Banks, the mm. she's like a Hollywood actress. She's directed lo- other stuff before, but mm. I never kind of would imagine someone like her going for a movie like this to direct. 
Yeah, I had no idea until I watched it and I saw her name and I was like, oh, okay. So, uh, interesting. But yeah, so this is Cocaine Beer. The title alone is a mad title. Mm. How do you make a film called Cocaine Beer? But do you know what? <laughs> the title is what it, what you get. So basically, this is actually based on true events. Is it? Based on true events in the 80s. So, you know, back in the 80s, you know, a lot of uh, cocaine was flying mm. around. Yeah. from South America, some Americans or whoever will fly into the into America and drop it off in certain places. Yeah, you know, I think Tom Cruise had a film a while ago called Yeah, America, America Made. America Made. And Pablo Escobar era. Narco. So yeah, so basically, somebody was flying their plane full of full of cocaine or going to you know drop it off somewhere, and they heard a transmission. That transmission was from the uh, I think it was the 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 DEA or, you know, basically the government, uh, FBI, whoever saw that they were trying to, you know, illegally do this and a person panics and threw the cocaine out. <laughs> <laughs> they threw the cocaine out and uh, some of this cocaine landed in the, in, in the National Park yeah. and, a, and a beer. <laughs> and, and all that cocaine. And it all. But, you know, in, in, in the real life version, the, the beer died from an oh. overdose. Yeah, yeah, can the, it kind of makes sense. Anyone, oh yeah. gosh, <laughs> so right. that's the end of the movie. End of the movie. <laughs> See you later. But no, it's Hollywood. They gotta have you know drama and all that. So, so in, fun, in, the, yeah. in the film version, to directed by Elizabeth Banks, like you just said, also starring Kerry Russell. Uh, her name you might not remember, but she's 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 been in everything. If you see her mm. face, you recognise it instantly. Also, also Alden, um, Ever Erin Reich, if I can say oh, it right, from Hans Solo. Solo. Yes. Yes. Solo. Who's going to be in Thunderbolts? Is he? Yeah, he's going to be in Thunderbolts as well. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so he's in it. Yeah. O'Shea Jackson Jr., Ice Cube's son. Yeah. Ray Liotta's last role. Ray oh, Liotta's in this. Oh, shit, yes. Yep. We've got Isaiah Whitlock Jr., otherwise known as She. <laughs> in the wire. <laughs> uh, also, you got got... Um, Tallman, Tallman, Bear, 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 what's it called? Oh my gosh. Yeah, from Bear, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, the redhead guy. Yeah. He's in it. So yeah, they're, they're all in it. So basically, uh, <clears throat> Alden, uh, Erin Reich, and O'Shea Jackson and Ray Lee are, they work for the, the cartel and it's their drugs that's fallen right, into the forest. Right. This bear has snorted it, eaten it, and the bear's going <laughs> crazy. The bear is mad. Anyone the bear sees it attacks. And there's some mad attacks, honestly. The bear, certain times the bear's like kind of like loopy. The bear's yeah. like rubbing its back on the tree, <laughs> he's pulling stuff. The bear's like falling over. You don't know what you're going to get. You're going to either gonna get a really acid, chilled out bear, or you're yeah. going to get a, a violent bear. Aggressive. Just yeah. the black bear. I don't know. There's a saying called uh, bear, sorry, brown. Uh, what was it? Yeah, brown go down. Black fight back. Is it? They said the, the, the brown the, the the brown bears are more chilled out, and you just got to lie down and they won't do anything. And the black bears, you got to show them that you're not you're not having Scared. it. Scared. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. And they sort of fight back and then they'll go away. Yeah, that's yeah. The That's what I heard on the film. Is it? Wow. Either way, I'm running. But then bears can run. You know, they're fast. Trust they me, climb, they're very they fast. Trees as well. Yes. You know I ain't going into the woods. Put it that way, trust yeah? me. Trust me. Uh, yeah. The but, claws. Uh, Oh, Trust me, look at look at uh, uh, the Wolverine. Revenant. Crazy, but so uh, yeah. So basically, this film, the beer is just going crazy on people. Uh, they're trying to get the the the, the cocaine back. You got uh, Kerry Russell, who's, who's a mother of a couple of kids who skip school, go into the woods and oh, then she's got to try and get her kids back. They get chased by the beer. Is a madness. You got a park ranger who. <laughs> It's comedy, it's comedy action. Sort of, it's not, too, don't take it too serious with this. You cannot, you can't, it's, yeah. With the attacks, there's a, there's a scene where the, the, the ambulance is called to come, and the ambulance car scene is crazy. <laughs> One of the best scenes in the film. It's like people make the wrong decisions, oh they my make gosh. The wrong decisions, and they get this beer mauls them, the arms come off, like <laughs> bites their heads. And you see a lot of it. You do. It's a fifteen. You see a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. You do see a lot of it. So, 
<clears throat> lots of people don't survive. Let's put it that way. Oh my gosh! I saw that. I see. You know what? You, when you see the trailer, you just know that this is absolutely going to be like a mad, like madness mad. of a movie. And yeah, um, sure. and the thing is, I've been here. Like, there's a lot of kind of good stuff being said about the film, and it's like, um, it, you know, I, obviously, I don't know the budget and things like that, and I'm trying to go into the wiki page and everything. But um, for something like this, um. It's like, where do they, like, you know, they obviously they see this true life story. Mm. You know, there's something that involved a beer and everything like that. And who is it? Like, how do they actually just say, actually, you know what would be really, really fun is if we kind of have it so that the bear starts taking the cocaine and then starts killing people. It's like, how do they come up with all this madness story? And, you know, they spend 30, 40 million and make these kind of movies and everything. Um but I mean, here's the question, Deval: Is it worth watching in a cinema, or is it like a streaming movie? I think cinema. You know, I think mm. cinema. Yeah, I think big screen is is good for this. I mean, you could get away if you've got a big screen at home. Do you know what? You can get away with it. Uh, but I did enjoy it in a cinema, and the cinema mm. actually wasn't 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 empty. A lot of people were there to watch it. The budget for this film was thirty five million dollars. <laughs> Damn. And so far, uh, just domestically, it's taken 8.5. I reckon this film will probably end up taking just under 100 million. 80, oh, yeah, maybe, that's good. 70 million, <clears throat> which, is getting, which is doubling its money back. Yeah, when did it come out in the UK? It came out two days ago. So okay, Thursday. yeah. No, Friday. It came out on a Friday. Friday yeah, 24th. I only just, uh, it was only just released here as well. Yeah, so I think it'll get its it'll, it'll, it'll treble. It'll treble. I think about 100 million, I think it might do, just under treble. But it's a mm. fun film. I think, don't take it too serious. It's a fun film. You've got a beer running around, killing people, people running from the beer, doing the wrong decisions. You've got good guys, bad guys. You've got kids in between. You've got just random people that just get in the way of the beer. The beer, I mean, yeah, the beer is under the influence. So it's diminished responsibility. <laughs> if it goes to court, you know, it's got the beer's fault. <laughs> Um, oh, oh, by the way, uh, Alden Eric Wright, it's not uh, Thunderbolts, he's Ironheart he's going to be coming up in. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so um, so there you go, go check it out. I mean, you can't get it crazier than that, a bear on cocaine, mauling people in a national yeah. park. Uh, go check that one out. So listen, um, another movie that we want to speak about is this. This was just kind of released on Netflix uh, mm. a few days ago, maybe on Friday, Thursday or Friday, I think it came out. And we kind of, I saw this trailer maybe about a couple of weeks ago and it, or, and I, I think I even spoke about it on the show. So um, it's a British movie, first time director. And um, when you see that, when I saw the trailer, I thought this is really interesting. It's got kind of like get out vibes um it's got kind of funny games vibes you know you get those kind of like home invasion type of mm -hmm. movies it, it kind of had that vibe to it and um it was uh what was her name again she's like really good in this actually the mum um actually McQuenway. she's really McQuenway. good McQuenway. yeah yeah I, I've, I, Deva, have you ever seen her in um in anything before my dane cray i haven't you know uh I probably have, but I didn't really know it was her, maybe. Uh, she's been yeah. in Un Un Umbrella Academy. She's been in that. Oh, uh, and that. Yeah, she's been in a few British stuff. Uh, County Lines, which actually I've got on my on my box. I haven't actually seen it yet, but she's been in quite yeah. a lot of British stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's got a, a Bucky Backray, and she yeah. she's really good. And I'll tell you the reason why. I saw a movie that she's in called Rocks, and she's mm. like a lot younger yeah. in that really yeah. good she yeah. won uh, she won a BAFTA I think for the uh, you know best upcoming like you know a couple of years ago really really good she yeah. plays a pivotal character in this as well um so like you said uh Ashley Medeque is that is that mm. my pronouncing that right yeah. Yeah. So the movie starts off in grimy flat in London. She's on the phone. Uh, this is Cheryl. And uh, she's like, she's crying on the phone. She's like, she's talking to someone. I think it's her sister. She's like, hey, I want to get out of here. My life isn't supposed to be like this. And you kind of can infer that she, she's kind of had like a, an abusive kind of relationship there's a mm. she looks at the door and there's a belt on the door and i thought to myself oh yeah like you know that's got some significance and you know she's crying and she makes a 
she makes a decision and then that decision is basically going to come back to haunt her later on in the movie but before that the movie then uh, fast forward several years and now Cheryl is not Cheryl she's actually Neve oh. she's a a deputy headmistress at a private school she's married she's got two kids she's got a wonderful house she she sounds she looks different she sounds different she's basically a completely different person mm. and they've done something really interesting with this whole thing about okay it is talking about race and it's talking about this thing about okay the extent that some people will go to to hide their race to fit in mm. 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 and deval i don't know about you but you know what there are like you know there's people like this they yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%, 100%, they kind of, you know, they come from a certain background and maybe, you know, they're not proud of it or they just basically want to hide that bit and, you know, they want to kind yeah. of fit in more. They put on a, maybe a different voice and everything. Yeah. So, Neve... You're being guilty of doing it. I mean, oh, mate, you know, you know, you put sure. your the white voice on. Yeah, right? exactly, you know? exactly. It's like there's certain things you've done in the past and it's only as you get older or you sort of get more knowledgeable, you realise and obviously you stop doing it, but we've all been guilty of doing something, an element yeah. of something somewhere like that. So I do get it, but this, this film takes it to another extreme. <laughs> this one takes it to another extreme. So she kind of like, um, you know, oh, she's got like, yeah. like, like I said, she's got, she's got money now. She's got a kind of like, you know, you know, this loving family. You know, she obviously, you know, middle class background now, and clearly, like, completely different to, you know, what, you know, mm. what she had before. But then this is when the story starts to unravel. She starts noticing like people, like two people in particular, they start entering her life, start talking to the kids and, you know, and she's like, hang on, who are those people? And why are you talking to them? And, you know, all these things start to come to the front. And the more these two characters are in the movie and are in the story or in the picture, mm. she starts to unravel. And then we figure out what basically happened and what she did and devout. Yeah. Oh my gosh, man. It's like, it's like that gala. Sorry, was it a gala or is some sort of kind of um, charity a scene, event? Charity yeah. event. There's yeah, a scene yeah. at a charity event where it's just like everything comes to a head, and um, it's like your worst, like the worst thing that could ever happen at that, you know, at something like that. It basically happens. Yeah. It's all white faces, all white yeah. people. She wants to fit in, and there she is. She just loses her shit, Dorado. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And then the, the truth comes out. Yeah. And then, then there's no denying where you come from. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, at some point in your life, you can deny as much as you want. Yeah. But the truth will always come out at some point. And then, boy. You've got, you got to be proud of yourself, proud of your background, especially this day and age. I know back in the past, like I say, maybe we sometimes we, we were ignorant to the facts and we sort of gave in to stuff. But especially these days now, you can't. You've got to be, be who you are and mm. let the world understand who you are. But this is the next level. She, even her son says to her, uh, we're not allowed. To, we're not allowed anything black. Yeah. Any, anything black is not is not okay. Like this is her son, who's obviously mixed race, black and white. Yeah. Uh, and then the daughter's starting to do like black hairstyles, and she doesn't like it. Exactly. And any black influence is just rejected. Yeah. You know, so it's, you can see that she, her past, she wants it to be in the she, past, her erased, not, basically erased. Nothing. So her family don't know anything about that. Her, who she was, how she got there, and it's just, and obviously, her past. I don't want to spoil it too much because I think there's, I there's some good, it's some good surprises in this. That some good surprises, her, yeah. Her past comes back, <laughs> and said her past says to her, "No, we <laughs> are your past, and there's no getting away from it." And even the story is not told in a linear way. At no. first, it is. But then you sort of get some jump backs and it, it pieces mm. in the puzzles and you see things that that you saw before from a different angle and you're like yes. ah yeah. okay that's good so that yeah. that for me made it a bit more interesting yeah and you, you know, know the thing the thing that I kind of found interesting as well like the um you know the 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 kind of her past mm. the characters that play her past they are unhinged as well yes and yes. and the thing is. If yeah. you've gone through that, you don't know how you will obviously behave. Like maybe, you know, like they, they, like 
it's kind of transpired that you know um oh god i don't want to do i don't want to spoil it but the, 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 her past there's this shit going on in her past mm. where she's kind of tried to forget but that comes back to you know bite her on the bum mm. and the reason why they are you know how why they are is because they were abandoned mm. yeah 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 and they've been through some shit you can tell because you know it's they, they're not just any abandoned people they've gone through some shit and you can see that shit is just all over them yeah and, I felt things happen. I, it's mad. Exactly. Yeah. I felt so. I felt sorry for for Neve's husband. Oh my god! What did he do? I know. <laughs> he's he's. He, uh, I don't want to spoil it too much, but yeah, this guy. I felt for him. I was like, oh man, he, he just die alone, man, because he, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't know shit. He didn't know shit. Just like he everyone did, else. Exactly. He was just none the wiser. And then all I hear in the next room is just going. <laughs> 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 when you watch the movie when you watch the movie uh, listener watch the movie and then you're going to realize what we're talking about over here and there's a scene towards i'm not saying when it is but there's a scene that's just full of uncomfort it's full and i think they did it on purpose it's good because you don't just feel the uncomfort you hear it and you think why is this still happening why haven't they stopped this it's just full of uncomfort and that just carries on in the scene it makes it it just makes it turmoil yeah Scene, the way it ends is mad. mad. I, I, it shocked me. This is rated 4.7 on IMDb, and I said this is not a 4.7 film. No, I don't know. I don't know why it's 4.7. This no, it's, it's, it should be. It should be higher than that. It should be higher than that. I think this film it's only an hour and a half, so it mm. gets to the point. This is definitely worth a watch for me. The strays. Oh out. man, yeah, I 100. I totally agree. I think it's definitely worth a watch, and it's kind of one yeah. of those interesting. Like I said before, um, there are people who who go out of their way to do something like this, develop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and know, my, my, cousin, my cousin actually said that. She, she, like everyone takes films differently and interprets yeah. different things differently. She said it's funny how uh, some people in the film, the darker skinned version of, of of some people, were seen as the like, like really the evil people almost. And mm. I didn't see it that way. I, I just saw it as like they were the way they were because of because of what happened what happened but also people obviously see things differently so that's something also just to bear in mind when you see it is that how you see it as well i mean you know so yeah there's one bit in there there's one bit in there with her son he comes home late Mm, mm, he comes home late and he yeah. gets a beating right and i was just like i yeah. i can relate to this that's like you know coming out you know that that's her old self that was out. the old self coming out. i was just like you know this calm yeah, persona yeah. this person in control yeah. she yeah. just clotted him and i was just like oh totally unraveling so listen we've got two movies there for you one that you're gonna have to go out to the mm. cinema to go catch cocaine bear so definitely mm. worth a watch and this one you can just catch on Netflix because this just yeah. released a couple of days ago. It's called The Strays. Go check it out. Yeah. Let us know what you think. As always, you know, get us on uh, Instagram, on YouTube, yeah. whatever. Uh, and let us know what you think about that one. All right, Deval, that's, that's it. That's what we've got time for. Next week, we've got Creed. That's going to be good. So, uh, mm, gonna be we'll decent, be giving you the so one-two on that one. Yeah. You know how, you, how, how, we, how we felt about that. But, yeah. Oh, and Mandalorian. Oh, shit. It's a good week, you know. And and the first episode. I wonder if they're gonna do episode one and two. Probably, probably. But after a good week, it's a good week. It's a good yeah, week. Yeah, I, th- I think they're probably gonna do episode. They might probably do episode one and two. So yeah, so it's gonna be Creed, and we got Mandalorian. So stick around for that. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Just pop in the Flicksters podcast.